What is going on guys? I'm the white guy and we are picking right back up here with part 9 or number 9 of the, um, the MX2 career playthrough series here. And since we have a lot of credits, we have enough to buy an MXGP bike, but I'm going to save that for another day when we have more votes and on what to buy. We will, we're going to customize the 250 here for, for the first bit of this video here for anybody that's interested in this kind of thing. The appearance, um, the graphics. Um, hmm, I don't know what to buy. Uh, Blackbird Racing? That looks too similar. These guys have anything interesting? Ooh, that looks kind of neat. That's different. Uh, we'll go with that. Nice. I, I can get behind that. And uh, triple clamps. You can change those colors too, apparently. Hubs, foot bags, your clutch caps. What? Oh, you can even change that. That's kind of... You can get. You can actually get pretty in detail with this. Huh. How much is that? Oh, that's free to do. Okay. Do all of these cost... Oh, no. These are all free to do. Okay. So we can actually go ahead and just go through and change all of this stuff. Levers... Uh, can I get black? Just flat black on the levers, please. No? Maybe? Uh, you can get all kinds of colors in this, though. That's black enough. We'll go with that. Uh, foot pegs. Uh, can we make those orange, too? To, like, stick out a little bit? Yeah. Uh, hubs. Uh, we'll go with the orange. Hub. No, go with, go with the, that shade of orange about? Yeah, sure. Why not? And the clamps. I didn't realize all this stuff is free to change. It's actually kind of neat. You can really go in detail with this. And that should all match up with that graphic kit nicely. Oh, whoa, this goes this goes pretty deep, huh? We'll go with, sure, we'll, we'll go with those spokes. Uh, sure, what do we, I don't even know. What, what color do we want those to be? I, there's so much detail in this, wow. I was not expecting that at all. We'll just go with bright white for that, I guess. The brake kit, you can change the cable color even. Oh, geez, there, there's so much customization in this, I did not even realize. Um, White numbers, black numbers, uh, we'll go with the black number, sure, why not? And, okay, that's that thing. Handlebars, what do we want in this? We'll go with the pro taper bars, because that's what I personally run. We'll go with the contour, hand grips, um, sure, those are, those are fine. We'll just throw the black bar pad on there for 200 credits. And hand guards, um, maturbies? No. Circuit, uh... Poly Sport, I've seen these before somewhere. I think I almost bought a pair of these actually. Or um I don't even uh, I I wanna I wanna say deal uses the Cherby's handguard, so we'll go with Oh, none of these actually like have the metal backing to them. But I do like the look of um these a lot better. Like the um, the vented ones right there, so we'll go with those for two hundred credits. And exhaust pipe, uh, we'll throw an FMF power core four on if that's a thing. No, just the factory four point one, okay, so blue kind of looks all right with it sure we'll go with that see if anybody gets upset about me using an fmf on a kawasaki bike and the tires will be we'll just go with the michelin star cross why not so now that we've blown a lot of our credits there we don't have to worry about um picking up a 450 for a bit now so we can uh, hopefully get some more data in on that and see what you guys want that would be our setup for the 250 and let's get into the racing now. If we go back, there should be a next race button. Here we go. I, I hopefully we end up at an American track at some point here. I'm not sure when. We're racing Kegums again. Didn't we already? Thought I already did Kegums. Thought that was like the first video we did Kegums. Huh. Unless that's a glitch or are we literally going back to the first video here? Apparently we're going back to the first video. Alright. Alright. I'll do it again, I guess. We have the red number plates. I do like how the... Oh, we can back up, too. And get drop. All right, let's see if this bike actually ends up being any faster now that we've got all the upgrades on it. And I think we're doing a wet race at Kegums this time. Oh! Getting taken out right in the first corner. It's okay. We'll, we'll probably be able to come back and win this. I'm willing to bet if, um, if it's like anything previous races have been. Uh, maybe this is a different layout from the first video. I don't know, but I swear this is the same. Tr yeah, this is the exact same track that the very first video and this was on. Except we were racing. I think the first time I did this, we were racing on a dry track and we're now on a wet track. Which is the one <laughs> difference I'm noticing. You can scrub that pretty low. Yep, we're already laying down lot lots of passing being done here. Let's see if we can just cut all the way in and boosh, you're done. Taken out. Very clean pass for me right there. Definitely no no problems there. And we gotta pass Paul Jonas here if we can uh, get 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 up there. No, maybe. Oh yeah, you're gonna need a 450 to clear that jump. There's this the this is a pimped out 250 and I didn't want to clear that jump. 
That guy just wrecked himself into the back of me. Again, we're just going to dive all the way in from the inside through here. And skirt, skirt. There we go. There's another two passes made. Land on top of him, right on his head for a bit, just to get some free gas mileage there. Very, very, very good move right there. It's very smooth to ride on top of other people. Again, it's like double the suspension effects. And easily done through there. I, I honestly am kind of afraid. I don't think the career thing reset on me because we're, we still have little bikes and everything, but I distinctly remember doing this track before. Unless I somehow already ran through it and I'm just redoing the whole thing, but I very distinctly remember doing this track before. And this is part nine of it. I, I, there's more than nine tracks in the game, so by by part nine, you shouldn't have already done through the whole series. As we make the pass for first on lap two. Yep, we're gonna have to cut in right there, and just keep turning left, or keep turning right rather. It's not that's a right turn. That's not a left turn. And apparently, it does not. The game does not like it when you dive off into the ditches on your own. It's got some hydro barriers there to block the starting straight. And you're, yep, you're not getting, you're not getting past. You stay back there, and you're, you're gonna like it. You're gonna stay back there, and you're gonna like it. We, can we do a whip? No, we can't. Aw, come on, come on, bike, go, 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 and do a whip. Oh, oh, we got, we, we're swabbing the deck right there, getting all kinds of crazy with the rear end. Let's right. uh, let's try and sort of actually pay attention to what's going on here and open up another 40-second lead. Uh, I think Hurlings is the guy we want. We took out last time out of spite. It seems like whoever's in second place of the championship is just nowhere to be found right now. And boosh, straight into the side of Hurlings right there again. Going three wide over the jump. Nope, nobody's gonna scrub, okay. All right, we'll, we'll have to actually put the throttle down on the makeup sometime here, because that guy is pulling away from us in the front. He's got, seems like he's just got more top end on his bike with a wider gear range than we do. So we're gonna have to take him into tighter spots and hopefully our gearing isn't too, too narrow for this to work out. And by Alexandra Tonkov, I believe your name is, get past him. And of course, as we try and make it look cool with the side camera, we end up going slightly off the track. But that's okay, we've got the rest of this lap to figure it out. And there we go, come on, come on. More power, more power, more power. You can do it, Blake, you can do it. There we go. On the outside pass. And, oh, going off track, going off track, going off track. All right, so we actually have to, this might actually take a little bit of um, actual correct playing to be able to make the pass here on a wet track. Is the, uh, maybe? No, there we go. It's clean pass right over the jump there, and we're good to go, ready to roll. And let's just get through the corner, and hopefully he doesn't catch back up. Where is he at? Yeah, he's, he's still back there a ways. We're good, we're good. Alright, come on. And, oh! Back end slid off the track a bit there and just ended up wrecking us pretty hard. So we're gonna have to, looks like we're gonna be, uh, I'm actually struggling to catch up now on lap three. Wait till the last minute to try and make a pass. Let's try not to swab the deck too hard. Yeah, there, yeah we're good, we're good, we're good. And are we gonna be able to make the inside dirty takeout pass? No, we are not. We have to wait for another turn. All right, we're gonna get him. This, no, we're not gonna get him this turn. We're not gonna get, we'll have to take ne next turn. We'll get him next turn. I think we'll get him next turn at least. I hope we do. Okay, we actually almost cleared that on the 250 for a change. That was a oh, he just did a dirty scrub right there and wrecked pretty hard. And that was just what we needed to be able to very comfortably and just slide on into the starting finish line up there somewhere. It's up here. I lied. It's up, it's up here about 10 more seconds if we look at the lap times. Do a little mini whip over that and dive off. No, reset me. Thank you, thank you. No! Don't blow it at the last corner! No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we made that comfortably. He's back there somewhere. We're good, we're good. We made that solid win in Latvia for apparently round two of that of Kegums. King of Kegums, achievement unlocked. So, race two, here we go. Um, no, not doing race two. Are we doing race two here? Yeah, I think we're doing race two here. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to double check on this after, because I feel like, I, I hope this didn't just restart the career after nine tracks. I could be crazy. I, hit, I just hit next race, right? Beginning of the video, next race, and it brought us back to Kegums. Maybe MX2 doesn't go to Glen Hill? I was hoping at some point we end up at the American tracks here. 
By the way, we'll just go right to the track here and get right to it here. Just grab the bike up a little bit, you know. If you guys want me to switch back and forth to back to the 125 or something, let me know. I'm just switching over to the 250 now to have a little bit more variety. And we'll see if we can make some good lines happen. Easy passes right there. Just ran somebody over and it fell on the ground. And whoever's first place just wrecked out, that's unfortunate. Oh no! Oh no! Oh boy, like three of us just went down there. Alright, yeah, let's just let's just kind of make up some distance here if we can. And uh, I think by the uh, by the lap two we'll probably be up in second place, I'm willing to bet. We're in 15th right now. How many blasts can we make? Um, 14th, 13th, 12th, 11th, and uh, 10, 9, 8. Oh, no, never mind, back to 11th. 10, 9, 8, 7. Nice, uh, nice, dirty, push him outside block pass. And there's six five fours up there. He just had a really dirty whip. Some of these whips actually do look kind of neat, though. I will give that to them. The AI, apparently, they, some of them work, look pretty cool. We're up to sixth. And coming in for a pass for fifth. Land on top of Hurlings again to double the suspension action. Uh, come on. Come on, Hurlings. Just, just let me buy your slower. There we go. Dirty. Oh, I was trying to square him up and just take him down right there. Ben Benedict Paul... Benedict Parnold right there. We have to come back and take him take him on the inside. Oh, what did I just do? I bumped a thing. I don't know what I just did. But I, I, my controller bumped into something and then that happened. I don't know what that is or why that happens. Um, that, is that like the Dirt 3 um, replay or Dirt 3 flashback system? Is that what that is? Because that's kind of... I, I'd like to turn that off if I can and see if it gives me any bonus credits. I don't need to that, and I don't want to use that, because that's just not even fair. It takes all the excitement out of it. You can just go back and fix any mistake. Alright, so we're up to the Fiat Chrysler sign. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. It's, um, that's, a uh, yeah. That's, that must as well be an advertisement for Rams right there. Dodge Ram! Drive a Fiat! Nah, 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 nah not, not about that life. Not about to be driving a Fiat. Alright, so let's just... Let's get, let's get, let's just try and make some paths here, because we actually fell back a decent amount of ways. I, I thought I'd be up by a second by now, because we're going into lap, lap three is going to be coming up in a minute here. And we should have been, a, we should be further ahead than we are right now, because that guy's, get, that guy's getting ahead of us too far, and not okay with that. So, make the pass, take him down, which seems like if you, just, if you want to take somebody out, you just have to bump their back tire. When they're making a turn, if you push their back tire wide, it seems like that's a good way to take people out pretty consistently. Alright, so there, there's your pro takeout lesson. If you want to be a dirty rider, just if they're turning, if you can take them on the inside a little bit, just bump their back tire and they'll go down. Hey, guys, doing some new fancy whips right there. But fancy whips are not going to make him go faster, so we're pretty much good to go through that section. Try and make a pass for third at some point coming up here in the next couple turns. That'd be third, second, and first place right up there. And this is going to be a good come from behind win. Let's try to slide off the track at that same spot again. Almost endowed right there, unfortunately. But um, we'll push him wide, make that pass for sec for third place. Sorry. All right, I think we're going to push him wide. Not this corner, but the next one we'll try and push Brian Bogers wide. Again. Yep, there we go. It's a nice pass on the inside. Just got to make that one stick in there. There we go. And Benedict Parnold is his red name, so we I think we have to I think we have to finish in front of him for like some sort of objective or something. So not this corner, but corner after this jump, I think we'll try and take him on the inside. There we go. Oh. He's making a pushback, but shut down the line, shut down the line. No! He got he got he got in me there, so we'll have to go we'll have to take him on the inside here and push him a little bit wider. Oh no, I was trying to punch him off. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, it's okay. We still got we still got time. There's most of the track still to go here to make the pass. Let's uh just line up for the next corner again. See this see the AI is actually putting up somewhat of a fight now, and it, this is good. It, it need to be this difficult all of the time. Alright, push him off there. There we go. Now we've got first place locked in. Take a little bit of a wider approach through that to get more speed so we can actually clear the jump. And then we've got a Cut in again, just more or less hold the throttle, whop, and keep it going. 
And let's not swap the deck with the rear wheel right over that tabletop. And hopefully we clear this tabletop. Yes, we okay. You can clear that one on the 250s for sure. Flying at a pretty good pace. 50 miles an hour over these doubles is going pretty good. Oh, Bogers just ate it down there. And so did um, some other Russian guy. I'm willing to bet that. That's Petrov sounds Russian. Could be Russian. Could also be Slovakian or whatever those other Soviet bloc countries were. But that sounds Russian to me. All right. And just don't end up in the last couple corners here, and we're good to go. And that should be a win at Kegums for the second time. Air wheelie across the finish line. Yeah, Kegums win on the 250, which is a Kawasaki 250. And what's the deal behind this now? Can we get points? Is that do we, we didn't just restart the series here, did we? Uh, if we end up at um. I don't even know which that track was, but if we end up at a, if I, if I get another familiar track, um, looks like you made an impression, new sponsors, we'll select a new sponsor, what do we have? Ipone, I, I still understand those people, there's Parts Europe, I've heard of Twin Air, uh, we've been on the beer team, or do any of these have more rewards? Oh, those all have way more rewards than the other ones do. Um, sponsor with Sun Rider Condition in this season in the top three. I, I'd want to go with Twin Air because I've heard of them, but these people reward more. But I like Twin Air because I have one of those. Hmm, what do we want to do? That sort of looks like Parts Unlimited, but it's the Europe version of it, so it's not as nice. I still don't understand what iPhone does, and I've got no idea what Athena does. Um, he's in the top three, top half of the leaderboard. I think we'll take the less reward to go for Twin Air. That's what I think we're going to do. Because if we customize the bike, do we get, um... Can we pick the sponsor logo again to have a different... Can we, do we get Twin Air sponsors on the bike now? Oh, we do. That's what I was, that's what I, that's what I was hoping for, is that. So we get the Twin Air logos on the bike instead. But we're going to leave that 250 the way it sits, though, because um, we spent a decent amount of chunk of change doing that. But just to roll this video off, we'll change the... Um, no, actually, we think we're good. We got the nice Twin Air Kawasaki there now, which I, I, I'll live with that. So that's about going to do it. Actually, wait, no. We can go back and change some of the stuff for free, can't we? Yes, we can. So we'll, we'll try and match up the Twin Air Orange on everything here real quick for anybody interested in seeing what how much bike customization there is, because there is a lot of it in this game. And we'll go with that. The levers will also make those orange. And the... Uh, I don't even know what this... Oh, this is the brake was a reservoir cap right here. Again, we'll go with the orange on that. The clutch guard will also go with orange, because we're just making everything orange to make it blend in more. And then the nipples on the bike spokes, um, I don't know, what, what pops out? I kind of like just having those be straight white, because they stick out a lot more on black rims. So we'll go with that. Bike brake cables, again, we'll just make that orange as well, so it all matches the side number color. And we'll make those white, why not? And, uh, that should do it for that video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. If you have any feedback, let me know in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one.